Does anyone else just sit in the car and uh, you know just like vibe out to music or vibe? Is that a is that a hip word? Uh, you know, just sit and chill and listen to music before you go in the gym because like you gotta be in that right mindset. You gotta be in that uh, the correct zone. I would even say it's like a kind of like not like a tradition, but um, you know it's it's in my rhythm. It's a uh, it's the word I'm looking for, Max. What is the word? Think, think, think. Uh, ritual. <laughs> ritual. That's what I'm thinking. It's like a ritual. I like to sit in my car, listen to some music. Not necessarily always some new Drake slow jams, but uh, you know, whether it be some Eminem, some Avenged Sevenfold, some uh, Three Days Grace, you know, whatever. It's that ritual that works, guys. It's uh, whatever gets you in the in the zone. Whether it be, um, I know if you're Brandon, he like, I don't know, puts like pop tarts up his butt or. Uh, Nick Wright goes to buffets and stuff. You know, whatever it is that you do, it's your ritual. It's your thing, and that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So, it's a uh, bench day. Uh, week. I don't. I don't know about there's weeks. I'm like three weeks out from the comp. So, three or four weeks. I don't know. I I, I need a better man. So, see you in the video, guys. So this is pretty cool. If you guys ever want to know what a competition style squat rack bench, how they adjust it, this is how. You basically will go up, tell them what number of pin you want, and then you will adjust your pin uh, beforehand. They can even adjust this with weight on the bar. They'll kind of use a jack actually to adjust it, but you put the pin in, put the safety pin in. Um, today's workout, now keep in mind, you guys are a week behind all the time. You know, no matter what, I gotta stay ahead of the game. But uh, I, I film my workouts and then I have so much footage that it's just easier for me to film one week, upload that weekend, and then you know upload that footage for the next week. And it's just easier like that. So what you're seeing is last week as of recording this. But um, you know, you're in my hearts at the same time all the time. Um, I wanted to talk today. You know what? Actually, we're going to talk about the bench press first. And then we'll get into the topic. 220 pounds is what I get up to for pause reps, and these pause reps are going very uh, well. Uh, you know, some people, <laughs> because I get to the end sets and I have trouble locking it out, people will say that my, my lockout's weak and that I need to focus on my lockout. There's a difference, guys, in having a weak lockout and then just being fatigued at the end of your sets. Holy crap! Look, it's like a 10-year-old schoolgirl sitting on the bench press. What you see, right, in that last clip, is me choosing my music, and that is a great topic intro because uh, you know that's like a ritual for me. As you saw in the beginning, you know, sitting in my car, chillaxing to music, just uh, you know, getting in the zone. I know Chris Jones does that. Like I said, Brandon Campbell always eats pop tarts. Obviously, he wants some either to get fat or he wants some pre-workout carbs. I'm not really sure, um, but that is my thing. I sit in the car, I kind of chill for a minute, and I just relax and listen to some music. Uh, but, and then in between sets, as you see, I kind of sit and I pick the song for the next one because music is important to me. It's important to my lifts, honestly. I can lift without music, but I really don't want to. As you see here, doing some speed reps. I believe this is uh, either 5x5 five five or 4x5 five of about 2 something or 1. Nine. I don't even know. Uh, I should probably write these down for you guys. Let's see here 185, 195. This is 195. 195 pounds, doing some speed reps. Oh, now I'm, no, God, I'm backwards on everything. Now I'm doing wide grip bench press. I don't even know why you guys, you know, I'm so, so glad that everyone enjoys watching these videos because all I do is just <laughs> rant on them all the time. But, um, you know, what are rituals that you guys do every gym in the gym? Not necessarily, um, you know, the pigeon superstition, like Nick said, not necessarily things that you um, psych you up like you have to use a specific bench, but what are things that no matter what, no matter where you are, you got to do? For me, you know, I could go to Australia and go to the gym, and I'm still going to want to listen to music beforehand and choose my songs in between. Wrapped up the workout with some triceps, just a little bit of accessories. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the rant, and I will see you in the next video.